Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Chocobo's Racing. Uh, Blue the Prairie Dog here, your host with the most. Alright. Let's try that again. Hey everybody, Blue the Prairie Dog here, your host with the most. Uh, this is Let's Play Chocobo's Racing. Um, we're going to move on to Chapter 6. Or 7. Blah. Blah. Right, seven. Do you want to continue playing the story mode? Yes. Want to read this story? Yes. Maybe it's something I ate. Chapter seven. Whoa, I thought I told you we'd be back next week. But you're reading the next episode already. I guess you really wanted to know what was going to happen next. Well anyways, having learned the secret of the Magisite shards, Chocobo and friends kept on journeying to find the rest of them. Oh man, I'm starving. Wow, do you ever stop complaining or wanting something? Now that we've got another mouth to feed, there's less food to go around. Of course we'll get hungry. Now that you mention it, I suppose you're right. I'm talking about you, Big Mouth. Golly, that sounded big. Was that you, Gollum? Me rock, me no eat. Then who was it? What the? Was that an earthquake or someone's stomach grumbling? Owned. <laughs> Golem got owned. <laughs> no, he didn't. Food. Give me food. Who in cholesterol's name are you? Oh, God. Oh, dear God. The food puns. I'm Chubby Chocobo. You got any food I can have? Hey, Chocobo, you better watch what you eat if you don't want to end up like Fatso here. Quit! I'm sorry, we're hungry too, but we just don't have any food on us. Those blue crystals will do. The one I had wasn't bad at all. What? You ate a piece of magicite? Ah! Wow, he's telling the truth. Look, his stomach is glowing. Where? Yes, it's glow. Hobbs knobs to goblins. You really did eat it. Oh, my poor stomach. Give me anything. I'm starving. All right, big guy. Let's make a deal. We'll have a racing match now. Huh? Why do we have to race? Cuz, that's the whole purpose of this game, you big dope. Anyway, if we win, we'll take the blue crystal that's in your stomach. You want to race now? Seriously? But I'm too hungry for that. Look at it this way. I think you could do with the, um, exercise. But what if we lose? Then he can eat us all. Say what? Oh, really? But you don't look that tasty. Oh, shut your pie hole! Hey, wait. Do you know what you're saying? Don't worry, we'll be fine. We can't possibly lose to that guy. But we don't even know what kind of ability he has. He does have Magicite Shard in him, remember? Yeah, it's uh, Chubby Chocobo who has the Reflect ability. Oops. Anyway, this place has the magic stones of Reflect. When someone tries to attack you with a magic stone, the spell backfires on him. You can reflect a magic attack by just carrying a stone with you. But each time you reflect magic, it will use up one stone. I can hardly stomach this hunger anymore. I, I just gotta eat. Let's hurry up and get this race thing over. Oh wait, maybe... Yeah, it might be the other way around. Man, I should have thought this out more before I made a deal. 
If we get beaten, we will get eaten. Okay, so here goes. We're going to race Chubby Chocobo. Okay. Chocobo versus Chocobo. Ah, okay, so I was right. She does have Protect. Then that means Chubby has Reflect. I think. I'm not sure. Yeah! <laughs> like a good neighbor, State Farm is there with a racetrack that'll make you hungry. <laughs> Too slow, gobs! Take that, you damn traitorous cur! Eat that! Your own medicine! Ah! Ha! Ha! Try it now, blokes! cha ha, -ha. Duh! Winning! Ow! Oh, nerf! Whoever keeps doing that, stop it. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there with an epic win. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Oat! All of you except for Chocobo. Oat! <laughs> uh, I was too weak from starvation to put up a fight. The crystal fragment in your stomach sure has a wonderful ability. It really looked, took us by surprise. But it doesn't take away my hunger, so it's no good. Anyway, cough up your crystal as you promised, Buster. Er, I hate to say this, but my stomach has been acting up a bit lately, so er, it won't come out for a while. So I'll just have to go along with you guys while you wait for it to, er, uh, pop out. Oh. Uh... And what's more, it looks like I'll get to eat lots of different foods if I travel with you. Mm hmm. Pizza. Chicken. Um. Here's something. Uh, Chubby Chocobo is a cannibal. Oh, blimey. Now we's gonna have another big mouth to feed. I hope we don't starve to death because of this, you bottomless pit. 
Now, now, let's give a big welcome to our new buddy here. Did you really say that, Mug? Are you feeling alright? Oh, come on, you know me. I'm always warm-hearted and friendly. Besides, if we need, if we feed him lots of food, that Magicite Shard will have to come out of there eventually. It's kind of disgusting, but if I wash it enough, it should be okay. I hope. Oh god, that's just gross. So come along now, chubby chocobo. Don't be shy. Let's continue our fantastic voyage together. Oh goody gumdrops. But wait, haven't you forgotten the food deal? What food deal? You know, to eat. Oh no, you don't mean... That's right. You really want to eat us? Eat you? Oh, no. Don't you have breadcrumbs to scatter on the road so you don't lose your way? Of course we don't. We're not Hansel and Gretel, you know? <laughs> Let's leave our friends here before they have a grim ending. Ah, ha, ha, ha. ah good one, Sid. You twit. So I guess that uh, takes care of this episode. Uh, next episode, we meet Behemoth and we gotta kick some butt. Okay, until then, until then.